Greetings, this is Earthman, servant of the Most High God, God of the universe, God of everything, including the soil here in our lives. And we have the second part of our experiment. Uh, follow up. Uh, I inoculated this soil, the this side, with uh, an IMO3, my own uh, IMO3. And then on this side, I put some silica bacteria. Now, I looked at this last night, and the side on the left had a lot more mycocillin, but it was very fine. Um, here we go. It's very fine, like a very fine um, webbing um, compared to over here, which is like Cloud City. And so, um, yeah, they're, yeah, that's straw in there and stuff. I, 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 I use a lot of different organic matters in my... Uh, matter in my soil, you know, dif different stuff. You know, it's good to experiment. But back to this. So I took this soil, um, was kind of deadish, uh, re you know, used and used, and uh, I wanted to put more life into it. Uh, this is kind of an exaggeration. I put a little too much in, so I'll mix this in with another batch, a uh, larger batch of soil. But not, you know, whatever. But I like uh, soil breaming with life and. That is the key, guys. That That is one of the many mechanisms, but one of the main mechanisms in true gardening organic. Um, I just wouldn't understand how you can, you know, do organic gardening without having living soil. It just doesn't work. Your plant's just going to die. Uh, soil without life, uh, another thing, a, a soil without you know, good, um, you know, life, uh, targeted microbes and, um, you know, mycocillin, different bacteria that break down different type of organic matter like phosphorus and, um, you know, magnesium or whatever. But not only that, it's good to have some lactate bacteria and yeast bacteria in there too. Uh, the lactate bacteria kind of uh, prevents um, pathogens from coming in because if you don't have life in your soil, that's when you're going to have or proper life you're going to have stinky soil and that's because you got pathogens in your soil that's when soil spoils it gets sour uh, that's never happened to me um, because I've always had um, uh, the majority of the bacteria in there are good bacteria uh, especially the, the, uh, the effective microbes the yeast the uh, photosynthetic purple and the um, non-sulfur purple and the uh, lactate bacteria. Uh, there's several of them, I'm sure. So there you go. Um, this is the experiment, as you can see. Success. Lots of mycocillin. Uh, like I said before in the other video, uh, on the left was um, a silica bacteria that was in a powder form that I poured over the top of that, and then over here, and you can still see some of it. My uh, my own brand of IMO. Um, three, which I call DML 3.5, because uh, there's a lot of different type of targeted microbes in my DMO. There's different bacteria, like I said, that break down um, a, a wide range of different um, nutrients in the soil. You know, so, and other things. So there you go. This is Earth Man from Origami's Living Soil, just showing you that God has done it already. All we got to do is just replicate what he has already put into place because he's an amazing god and he loves us and that's why he's given us so much guys enjoy life while you can it's very short remember that our days are short and um just enjoy your family your friends your life as much as you can you know and then let god do the rest there you go